What are we going to go do? Geologist is somebody who learns the language of the earth. That's what the word means. Geo for earth and lo logic or logos for the language or the word. Geologists learn to read what the stones are telling us, what the rocks are telling us about the earth's history. So followers of the earth's language. I knew that I always wanted to work outside um, and initially like every other kid that wants to work outside you think about archaeology, I'll go find dinosaurs, well think about how much of the earth is covered in rocks and I think that's what made me become a geologist and I've loved it ever since and I get to work outside a lot. To, to have fun in this part of the profession, you, you need to have a strong desire to solve new problems mm -hmm. and new things and figure things out. So we have little clues, and then we have to put the puzzle together, then we test some ideas, and maybe one day treasure comes out. <laughs> I'm just drawn to that big unknown, the treasure hunt. Yeah. I, I like the fact that in the way or in the way I'm involved in my profession, uh, it's not about classifying what we already know, it's about discovering something new every day. So it just keeps things open and more fun. Timelines. What did you find? Jade. How'd you find it? I was just looking around and I saw the kind of color of it and I'm like, that's okay. I got some good. That's a nice piece. Found some more. Uh, I want to go for it. trying to become Jade, but it didn't quite get it. Can go for Jade? Yep. Or because there's white. Do you think the whites may be powdered sugar? You should look at and taste it and see. No! <laughs> I don't. I think that's dirt. Oh. Here, it looks like a piece of cake. Yep. Ooh, this is cake. I swear this one's here. This one's here. I love all the rocks and all the minerals, but Jade is my favorite. Yeah, I've loved Jade ever since I came across it the first time, more than 30 years ago. <laughs> what 
fascinates me about Jade is that across many cultures that are unrelated in many continents, some cultures decided to like Jade and they made it so important that it's the only stone out of which they made things that they would bury their emperors with. Some people specialize in finding the things we need, like fuels or minerals, like all the metals that we need to make things, or lithium to make a battery for your phone. Anything that has to do with how we interact with the Earth has a geology specialization attached to it. There's a lot of rocks that haven't been <laughs> discovered yet. You did, you did. Yeah, it's there with the quartz. It's here with the... I found another one. It looks like... Because of its toughness, it, it, it does not chip or break, uh, but also because of its toughness, it's very slow to work mm -hmm. with, with jade. Uh, but it also why some of the carvings that are thousands of years old that are being found are still intact. Uh, and the intricacy of the, the, the amount of detail you can put in a piece of jade, you could never do with any other material. Mm -hmm. OK. 
okay? <laughs> so really coming to Wyoming is because of all the history and the legends, the mystery of the fact that people knew that there was really nice jade here. And there was kind of still a question, of like where does it come from? Oh. All this material across the plains, where did it come from? Making a small carving out of quartz, for example, might take 10 hours, and the same in jade would be 40 or 60 hours. Hmm. Bridger was asking what elements make jade. They are calcium, that is the building block, calcium and silica. And in between those, there's either magnesium or iron. And if you have a calcium magnesium silicate as jade, it'll be white. Once you start putting iron into it, it starts to turn green. The more iron, the greener. And if it's just calcium, iron, and silica, then it can be a black jade. Hmm. Because of how it interferes with light traveling through the crystal structure. Hmm. So it's an interference effect. So it's, the jade is not secondary, it's primary. Oh, okay. This is probably why it's so pure and translucent, and uh -huh. tight, fine grain. Yeah. Yeah. And then you think about earthquakes, so which is what is opening some of our pockets because of the pressure. And then it, it releases and it does these jogs like this, uh -huh. right? But you'll have the first one and then you crystallize a layer of jade and then you have all the aftershocks, right? Oh, yeah. So you, you make it in layers. Uh... If it was easy, it'd be no fun. Somebody would have already done all of it. Mm -hmm. There's always going to be room for more geologists who are passionate about their work and want to get out there.